Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the procedure for crank pin bearing overhaul. The engine in this video is a MAN BMW 6G50 MEC 9.5 engine. To begin with, we need to take the piston to TDC. Then we fit the two crosshead securing tools in the forward and aft part inside the crankcase as shown in the video. Two holes with threads are provided in the forward and the aft in each unit for fitting of this tool. After this we need to carefully turn the unit down so that the crosshead rests evenly on these two supports. We can adjust the distance on top of these two supports with the help of screws provided in the bottom of the supporting tool. This supporting tool will take the weight of the piston together with the connecting rod and the crosshead during the overhauling procedure. Now we loosen the two hydraulic nuts of the bottom end using hydraulic jacks. Then we need to attach two chain blocks using eye bolts between the upper and the lower halves of the bottom end as shown in the video. Once the two halves are secured using the chain blocks remove the hydraulic nuts. Then using these two chain blocks lower the bottom half into the crankcase. After this we remove the locking pin for the bottom half bearing and remove the bottom bearing. Then we turn the crankwave clear of the top part of the bottom end. Now the piston and the connecting rod rest on the crosshead support. After this we attach a chain block from the eye outside the crankcase door to the top half of the bottom end using the tool provided for this purpose as shown in the video. Now using this chain block we pull the top half towards the crankcase door and turn the crankwave downwards using the turning gear thereby separating the crankwave and the top half of the bottom end bearing. Now using the chain block we put the top half towards the crankcase door to assess the top bearing. After this we remove the locking pin for the top bearing and then take out the top bearing. Then cleaning and inspection of all parts is carried out. Now for reassembly, first we put back the top bearing and its locking pin.
Then we turn the crank pin in the upward direction and slacken the chain block holding the top part of the bottom end so as to fit the crank pin to the top half of the bottom end. Then we turn the unit to TDC. This will shift the weight onto the crank web and shall leave the crosshead clear of the two crosshead supports. After that we can remove the crosshead supports. After this we fit back the lower bearing and its locking pin to the lower half of the bottom end. Then using the chain blocks pull up the lower half of the bottom end taking care that the locating pin of the bottom half fits into its hole. After this we put back the two hydraulic nuts for the bottom end and remove the chain blocks and the eye bolts. Then as the final step we tighten the nuts using hydraulic jacks. This completes our video for connecting rod bearing overhauling. If you like the video do share, subscribe and click on the like button.